Hello and a warm welcome to Kaleidoscope, the show where we dabble in the lighter side of business. I'm Mandaga Zimpatwa. Retro is back. This week we explore the rise of the male grooming industry with a look at the revival of the ancient art of shaving with an increasing demand for attention to detail and quality service Barber shops are back. Now join us on our Italian style journey to a shop in Johannesburg that's lending a touch of class and a sense of pride to men in the local community. We'll also de debate whether spirituality has a role in the workplace. And as always, we'll be bringing you our ad of the week in association with the Creative Circle Awards. While some still see it as a time-consuming chore, men's grooming is shifting its status from a dull do-it-yourself affair to an indulgent male bonding experience that men can treat themselves to safe from their nagging wives and girlfriends. Barber shops are back and Denim Ponds brings you this story. Shaving plays a crucial role in every man's life. It's been considered one of the earliest symbols of upbringing and it's the fundamental rite of passage from boyhood to manhood. And considering the average man shaves more than 20,000 times in his lifetime, it's a necessary but also pretty time-consuming pastime. With the development of safety razors and the increasing rarity of beards, barber shop numbers had, up until recently, been slowly dwindling. But traditional barber shops are slowly coming back into fashion. And Sav Cardello saw this as an opportunity to open up a barber shop next to his restaurant in Johannesburg. I've been here for eight years. I've been running the restaurant over there. My dad's been a barber for as long as I can remember. Um, uh, he's been in Bromford for 43 years. And um, sitting, over, sitting over here on the Parkhurst Promenade, uh, I actually got the premises and I got this, uh, this idea from New York City, the art of shaving. Um, and my, bar, my, my dad being a barber for so many years and what have you, and had this art, this lost art, um, I bought the concept of the art of shaving to Parkhurst and we opened up the store. And it's actually taken off, it's amazing. Um, the product itself, it's the only store in South Africa that's opened up. Uh, in York City, um, there's a whole lot of the art of shaving uh, stores over there. You've got top celebrities that are using it. Um, it's the men's grooming, it's the new age. People just every day go for a shave. Uh, they love the pampering, they like to relax. Um, they, have a, they have a facial, they have a, a hot towel. Uh, they, they, you get guys that come in every day for a shave and that's what's happening in South Africa. I can't believe it, it's taken off. Sorry, when I was in Italy, I thought four years I was an uh, apprentice for the barber. Four years apprentice and afterwards I make an application I come here in South Africa. 61. I come in South Africa, I was work one year for the boss. After one year, I was up on the shop in Bria Naget Street, me and Frank Romano. I was there three years together. After that, I come in Bramfontein. I put on in Roma Paris in Bramfontein for 43 years I was there. And uh, after that, four months now, I come in Parkhurst, me and Enzo Romano together because the ends also was for 37 years he was experienced in other shop and now is my cousin I come together well I came from Italy many years ago 1971 which uh, I come to South Africa I enjoy in Roma and I've been a long time and yeah I'm in Porkes now I went to join with my cousin as a hairdresser, as Baba. The barber trade is an ancient one. Egyptian men used to think having facial hair was an indication of poor hygiene. So it was very common for wealthy Egyptians to have their own barber. But nowadays, a visit to the barber isn't just a trend among the rich. In fact, it's affordable for anyone looking to spoil themselves. Angelo says the people don't just come in for a shave, they come in for the whole experience. Before they were, they were a little bit hesitant about it and they, they thought what is all the hype about shaving, they'd rather shave at home. But um, once the word got round and the, and the actual products that we used, um, they were so simple to use but they don't dry up your skin. And as I said, it's these chairs behind us over here, 
you've got these, these guys that have had uh, 87 between the two of them, uh, Enzo and Angelo, they've got 87 years experience. And as I said, it's, it's an art. You know, with a cutthroat over there, they, uh, they, uh, they actually, you're at their mercy when, they, when they're shaving you. But after you've had a shave and you've had a hot towel, you know, you're rejuvenated. You can, you can uh, go to your meeting or you can go, you just relax. Well, yeah, it's different. At home, you know, you can't get what you've got, yeah, you know. You come here, you make good shave, you make a massage, you make hot towels, and the people is very happy for that. That's why you come here and I want to shave at home, you know, because it's very happy for that, you know. And I use all very good stuff, you know. The aftershave, pre-shave oil, all of that, you know, is very, very good for, for the skin. Uh, the first step is the pre-shave oil. You put on a face, you massage it, and then you put your shaving cream. Put the shaving cream, but the, uh, make the, uh, we shave, shave in first, and then we put the hot towel afterwards when we finish it up. Well, they finish it up, and then we, they sit down on the grooming, they sit down on the deck, they relax. The Roma Paris Barbershop has been in Parkhurst, Johannesburg for four months and it's the only barber in South Africa that offers the Art of Shaving brands, which have been a real hit in America. The shop is fast becoming very popular amongst men in the local community. Angelo says that their clientele ranges from businessmen to children, and they are even starting a few new trends. We've already got grooms that have uh, started coming to, uh, to uh, Rome and Paris. Uh, they come here in the morning, Enzo gives them a shave, uh, just to get the, the grooms uh, jitters out. Angela touches them up, gives them a cigar. They have a, a stiff drink on the, on the Parkers promenade on the deck over there. And off they go, they get married. That's the latest trend over there. Um, and then you've got uh, just guys that have had a long night or a long day that don't want to shave. They come over here, they use the facility. And um, they're actually giving out uh, as a gift. Guys are giving out gifts, packages or whatever to a mate, his 40th or what have you. They come over here and they, that's how they get introduced. Uh, as, as per se. The chef, you know, it's because he come here, he make chef, hot towels, massage, and people is very happy for that, you know, and uh, that's why I carry on, you know. I love that, you know.